There are two types of people who enjoy sous vide cooking. One is the foodie type, for obvious reasons. The other is folks out there who can't cook. Now that may seem weird, but hear me out. Sous vide machines have the ability to control the final temperature of your food to within 0.1 degrees, so you really can't overcook anything. And if you knew it was possible to turn out perfectly cooked food every time with almost no work on your part, wouldn't you suddenly have an interest in cooking more? I'm Erin for TechGadgetsCanada.com, and the Innova Precision Cooker Nano here is a compact sous vide cooking device that I recently had the chance to test out and review along with the Innova container. I'll tell you all about how it works and what kind of food you can make with it, as well as a little bit about sous vide cooking and what it is and why people like it. An early heads up that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please hit that like button and give me a sub, since it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. The Innova Precision Cooker Nano is a compact, connected sous vide machine. You plug it in and place it in water and, using the onboard controls or the smartphone app, you can adjust your cooking temperature to within 0.1 degrees. The Nano version is a smaller and more compact version of the previous generation Innova. There's a small digital readout on top of the unit so you can see temperature and time at a glance. You can use the Innova Precision Cooker Nano here in a pot filled with water if you want, or in a bucket, or of course you can use it with the custom-made Innova container, which lets you stack food while at the same time creating a dedicated area for the machine. It all gets covered up with a lid to help keep the heat just right. Now, what is sous vide cooking? Sous vide cooking is a technique that uses this hot water bath to cook food to a very precise temperature. More accurate than steaming and not as bland or imprecise as boiling, sous vide is a whole different cooking method for food. Cooking sous vide involves sealing food inside a watertight bag and immersing it into that precisely controlled hot water for an extended period of time, often an hour or a couple of hours depending on what you're making. Now after, you may want to give the food a quick sear, since coming out of the sous vide bath, the food will be perfectly cooked, but it can be a little pasty looking. Searing gives it color and makes it much more appealing on the plate. Cooking sous vide has numerous advantages. You can cook proteins and other food to within 0.1 degrees. Because you can preset the temperature and the sous vide cooker holds it exactly there, there is never any danger of overcooking your food. Now, by the way, did you know the temperature difference between rare and medium rare in a steak is exactly three degrees? That is pretty close. No wonder so many of us overcook or undercook our meat. The Innova device gets it to within that 0.1 degree of that perfect temperature and holds it precisely there. Another plus of sous vide cooking, that temperature and doneness is uniform all the way through the meat. If you've ever tried to cook that perfect medium steak, you know it can get to medium in the center, but the outsides are cooked a lot more thoroughly. Now, because your target temperature is so precise, you can make that entire steak that is the perfect temperature all the way through and not just in the center. Another plus of sous vide cooking, you can leave your food mostly unattended without worrying about overcooking it. Some sous vide machines like the Innova Nano here have connected apps that allow you to monitor time and temperature from another room as well. Sous vide cooking also allows you to hold food at temperature, in some cases for hours. If your guests are late or you've mistimed your cooking with your other dishes, you don't have to worry. You can hold the food in the sous vide bath until you're ready. Let's talk about the setup and your prep for using the Innova Precision Cooker Nano. You've got a few things to do before you are ready to sous vide. And first off, you'll want to download the Innova app from the App Store or Google Play. Next, you will want to encapsulate your food in something that seals well for cooking. Now, typically this can be a Ziploc bag or a vacuum packed bag, but whatever you choose to use, you want something that's not going to leak or melt. Many sous vide enthusiasts will vacuum pack their foods for the sous vide cook process, and that's because it removes all the air from the bag and seals it really tightly, preventing leaking food or juices that can damage your sous vide machine. It also prevents the bag from floating in the water. Now there are a couple of ways to hack the vacuum packing process if you don't have a vacuum sealer. You can put your food in a Ziploc bag like I said or other durable self-sealing bag and try and push all the air out as best you can. I've heard some people even try to suck it out with a straw. Give that a try if you want to. Or you can cook in something like a mason jar. 
Place the machine in the water and secure it to the side of your container or pot using the attached clip and thumb screw. I will say I hate this clip. It's locked in one place and it doesn't fit most of my medium pots. Now the previous generation of Nova had a removable ring that you could adjust the position of for almost any pot or container. Now a heads up, you will need a lot of water with this device. It has a fairly high water level threshold and you'll get an error message if your water level is too low and your cook won't start. What can you cook in a sous vide machine? The short answer is almost anything. Vegetables, meats, fish, seafood, eggs, desserts. You can even infuse vodka with natural essences. Cooking with the ANOVA is pretty straightforward, even for novices. Choose a recipe from the ANOVA app or look up instructions for how to cook any type of food or protein. The app does it all for you, but you can also dial in any temperature you like. Package up your food and add any oils, herbs, or flavors you want to the bag to really infuse what you're cooking. Then start your water, either manually on the machine or you can get the app to do it for you. The water will heat up and I'm happy to say the water heats up pretty quickly. Mine took less than 10 minutes when I used the big pot over here and a small single beep on the machine will alert you that the water is ready. I didn't care much for this. I got no push notification or alert to my phone when it was ready, and when I walked over to the pot following the beep, the timer had already started counting down. In some cases, my cooks didn't even give me that beep. I was left with the feeling the machine doesn't really wait for you or help you along. If you miss your alerts, you'd have to adjust your cook time, and I couldn't see how to do that. I have cooked numerous things sous vide. I've done eggs, both soft boiled and hard boiled. I've made sous vide egg bites, just like the ones you can get at Starbucks. And I have to say doing this is a game changer for breakfast in the morning. I can make a week's worth of these bites and just pull one out in the morning, warm it back up to temperature in the hot water bath, and I've got breakfast either at home to go. When it came to the eggs, I tried cooking hard boiled and this is how it came out. It's also important to note there's two sets of instructions in the app. There's the ANOVA guide version, which I used, and there's also a bunch of crowdsourced recipes. You will want to look carefully at the readings on those before you try them. You can also cook meats like chicken or fish like salmon or trout and get it precisely cooked and really tender. Steak is really good done sous vide and of course you can also cook vegetables like carrots and green beans. Everything comes out perfectly done, really tender and very moist and juicy. Plus with all the flavors you can infuse into them, they are really flavorful too. I think sous vide cooked food is great and I use the machine all the time. It's also worth noting you might wanna try a little bit of experimentation when it comes to the final cooking temperatures that give you the results that are most pleasing. There are a couple of features that set this machine apart. The big one is the digital display, something not found on a competitor's model. The Nano is also slightly smaller than previous versions of the Innova, though not quite as compact as said competitor. Overall, I've been pretty happy with the Innova Precision Nano Sous Vide machine. It's easy to use and the app takes a lot of the guesswork out of the precision needed to cook sous vide because it recommends temperatures and sets them for you. If there are any downsides to this device, I'd say it's the terrible design of the clip, which doesn't really let you adjust it. I much preferred the previous version, which had a movable collar. The device has a rounded bottom that won't really let it sit flat on its own in your pot, and it has no magnet to stabilize that anyway. I also think the cord is pretty short, especially when using it with the container. I had trouble with the app too. Sometimes it would heat the water to temperature and then just start the timer for the cook with no warning to me to put the food in. In another case, it heated the water and never let me know it was ready, and then the app seemed to have no way for me to actually start the cook myself. While there's a lot of info in the app to help you, the actual interface seems a bit buggy, so I'll spend a little more time playing around with it. The Innova Precision Cooker Nano sells for about 119 Canadian dollars, and if you want to read more about it, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've posted a full blog, and you can ask me any questions you have about this device or the sous vide cooking process, either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. I'm Erin, thanks so much for watching this video. You can catch me on Twitter and Instagram until the next time, I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always find me at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada. And a quick reminder that if you did like this video and found it helpful to please hit that like button and give me a sub because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from.